today on Running to Him. When we were not in Christ, we were children of wrath, but now we are changing into his likeness. Today we will read Ephesians chapters 1 through 3 and concentrate on chapter 2 verses 1 through 7. Ephesians 2, 1 through 7 says, And you were dead in your trespasses and sins, in which you formerly walked according to the course of this world, according to the prince of the power of the air, of the spirit that is now working in the sons of disobedience. Among them, we too all formerly lived in the lusts of our flesh, indulging the desires of the flesh and of the mind, and were made by nature children of wrath, even as the rest. But God, being rich in mercy, because of his great love with which he loved us, even when we are dead in our transgressions, made us alive together with Christ, by grace you have been saved, and raised us up with him, seated us with him in the heavenly places of Christ Jesus, so that in the ages to come he might show his surpassing riches of his grace and kindness towards us in Christ Jesus. Well, today's reading forces us to recognize the difference between those who are in Christ and those who are not. Believers live in a different life than those who are unbelievers. Our focus is completely different because we've been raised with Christ. It's an amazing thought that our home has been relocated to where Christ actually is. And I'd like us to think about how we can be different and are different. What separates from us from the world around us? And how can we remove ourselves even further from this world of sin? First, those who know Christ are different in our thought processes. Verse 3 tells us that those who do not know Christ indulge in all forms of lust. And while most of us think about lust being a sexual thing, Lust actually has a much broader definition. Anything outside of Christ upon which we dwell incessantly is a form of lust. So if we constantly think about our car, home, societal position, etc., it is a form of lust. And our mind can be fixated on these things even if we don't think they are. Now we all love to live in lovely homes, but let's think for a moment about the purpose of a home. A home is designed for protection, for comfort, and a place to relax. And frankly, much more than that requires careful examination of where we live and what we do. Opening our homes to others, being hospitable to those in need, or providing a place where Christians can gather in fellowship with one another fulfills a necessary aspect of our Christian life. Therefore, our home size can be legitimately larger. But if we live in our home because we want the most prominent house on the block to show how much we have accomplished in our life, we've submitted to lust. But as we are in Christ, we are to be different. We are to be looking out for others. And our focus is not on ourselves, but those around us. I recommend reading a book by Rosaria Butterfield entitled The Gospel That Begins with a House Key. Rosaria came to Christ because someone opened their home to her, and she has led many people to Christ because she has done exactly the same thing. So, as we walk with Christ, we should think about how we can minister to others. Can we offer to pray for someone, take them shopping for their groceries, and do other things? Not often, but there have been times when I've seen people in Walmart pay for another person's food. Once, a church group was selling cookies to raise funds for a youth trip. I purchased all of their inventory and then told them to give away that inventory to customers leaving the store and telling them that someone else had paid the price. This was a perfect way for them to open up in a conversation about Christ paying the price for their sin. We are different because we are related to Christ. Let's act that way. Thank you for listening. We pray that today's devotion was meaningful to you. We would love to hear from you. You can use either Facebook or YouTube to like, subscribe, share, and tell others about us. If you would like to contact us, you can reach me at PhineasJacobus 
at runningtohim.net.